Hi guys, this is Lisa and I'm back with another video. Today we are going to learn some vocabularies and expressions about universities. So open your Oxford Word of Skills basic book unit 43 and watch this video. Unit 43, I can talk about university. Before we started, we have a glossary part and we can see some new vocabularies or expression here. Let me read them. Do a degree. Do a degree. A study at university for three or four years. Course. Course. A number of classes and a subject, like an English course. Term. Term. A period of a study, usually about 10 weeks. Library. Library. A place where you can read and borrow books. Undergraduate. Undergraduate. A student doing a first degree. Write an essay. Write an essay. Do a piece of writing on a subject. Again. Again. One more time. Fortunately. Fortunately. We say fortunately when we give good news. The opposite of fortunately is unfortunately. BA or BSc, Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science. MA or MSc, Master of Arts or Master of Science. Do research, do research. Study a subject for a long time to learn new information. PhD, PhD, Doctor of Philosophy. Well, let's read part A, which is about a university degree. I started university two years ago when I was 19, and I'm doing a degree in Spanish and French. The course lasts three years, and there are three terms a year. I work in a library a lot because, like many undergraduates, I have to write lots of essays. I also have to take exams and last term I failed one and I had to take it again. I got the result two weeks ago. Fortunately, I passed this term. When I've got my degree, a BA, I want to do research for a PhD. Also, we have a spotlight here, which is about how long does it last. To last is to continue for a period of time. For example, how long does the film last? Two hours. The master's course lasts two years. Well, we have some exercises in part A. Let's check them together. Number one, circle the correct word. I'm sure that you know these kind of exercises. You have two options and you need to choose one of them. For example, she did an English course. You have one minute to do this exercise. Number one, I want to do a degree in math. Two, a term lasts about 10 weeks. I've got a BSc in physics. I study a lot in the library. A graduate has a degree. Unfortunately, I failed the exam. You can do research before a degree. Exercise two, complete the dialogues. You have some blanks here, you need to fill them based on the vocabularies and expressions you gain of this unit. For example, how long does the term last? About 12 weeks. Well, you have about one minute.
Let's check them together. Have you got a degree? Yes, a BSc. Did she have to write an essay? Yes, three in fact. Can you do research next year? Yes, I want to do a PhD. Did she get his exam results? Yes, fortunately he passed. Can he take the exam again? Yes, next summer. How long does the course last? It's only one term. An exercise tree about your country. Write your answers or ask another student. You have some questions here. You can answer them based on your information or you can ask them of your friends. Well, let me read the questions. How long do you need to study for a degree in chemistry? How long do you need to study for a master's degree? How long does a university term last? How long does a school term last? If you fail exams, can you always take them again? So you have one minute to think about them, but, but because they are personal, we don't check them. And let's go to another part of this unit, part B, which is about university subjects and people. We have 10 pictures here and we can see some degree subject and person. Number one, a degree subject is medicine, but a person is a doctor. Two, psychology, a psychologist. Economic, an economist. Law, a lawyer. Politics, a politician. Engineering, an engineer. Architecture, an architect. Computer science, an IT manager, a software engineer. Journalism, a journalist or reporter. Business studies, a businessman or woman or a manager. Also, we have some exercises here. Let's check them. Exercise 4. Complete the sentences. Use the degree subject on the right to help you. So you have some blanks here and you need to fill them. For example, he always wanted to be a... Here we have a degree subject like law. A person is lawyer. So the answer is lawyer. You have about one minute to fill them. Let's check them. She wanted to be a doctor. When did he become an engineer? She is studying to be an architect. Why does she want to be a psychologist? She works as an economist. I don't know anyone who wants to be a politician. Is it difficult to become a journalist? I knew he'd become a businessman. Exercise 5. Complete the words degree subject or person, write this or P. So you have two options like a degree subject or a person. You need to choose between one of them. For example, journalism is a degree subject. What about lawyer, architecture, computer science and the rest of them? So you have one minute to fill the blanks, I mean write the correct dictation and choose between degree subject or a person.
One, lawyer is a person. Two, architecture is a degree subject. Computer science, degree subject. Software engineer, person. Psychology, degree subject. Business studies, degree subject. Politics, degree subject. Engineer, person. Medicine, degree subject. Economics, degree subject. IT manager, person. Reporter, person. And the last exercise: test yourself. Cover the subjects and people and look at the pictures. Can you remember the subjects and people? So in part B, we have some pictures. You need to look at them and come with the degree subject and the person for each of them. You have about one minute. So this is the end of the unit. Now you can talk about your university in English. But if you have any questions, you can ask me in comment part. Thank you for watching my videos and supporting my channel. See you soon.